looking back at college, if I had learned this sooner, you guys, I probably would not have dealt with the amount of anxiety that I dealt with and I probably would have accomplished a lot more. YouTube. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today is May 27th, I think. So I thought I'd do another like vloggy style chit chat video with you guys because I know you guys seem to like that one video that I did about like life after college. And y'all know I say this like all the time, but I feel like I'm learning so much so quickly. So today's video um, is going to be good because I have a lot that I want to talk about today that I've been kind of realizing over the past few weeks. So I have a lot to get done today as well. So I thought today would be really fun to film. I have a lot of YouTube stuff to get done, but I also have like a lot of work stuff too. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So yeah, it's 8.30. I'm about to go ahead and get started with my day because I do have a meeting like right now. Um, but real quick, I wanted to show you guys what I use on my hair because a lot of you guys have been asking and I actually just finished getting ready. So let me show y'all. Okay, so I just finished doing my hair as you guys can see. That's why it's really wet right now. I'm not gonna do like an entire um, curly hair routine I know a lot of y'all who watch my videos don't have curly hair. Um, but let me just show y'all what I use real quick. So I use this curl defining whip from Aunt, ooh, I need to focus this one. It's this Aunt Jackie's curl whip. And yeah, like it is like the go. I use a lot of Cantu products and Shea Moisture, but mainly it's this Aunt Jackie's Curl Whip that like makes my curls pop in. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with my day. I'm gonna show you guys my to-do list real quick and then I'm gonna have to pop into this meeting because I think it's starting like right now. So let's go. So today's Wednesday, which means it's an upload day. So I need to go ahead and finish editing um, my video for today, which is an apartment tour. So you guys probably would have already seen it by now um, because this video is going up after that. Um, so I need to go ahead and finish editing that. I need to post that today. I need to promote it like on Instagram and stuff like that. And then I need to also film some content for that brand deal that I got. If you guys watched my video from last week, um, then you guys know I got like this big brand deal. You guys know I don't get brand deals that often. So I was super excited. And I'm going to go ahead and film that content today just because I need to go ahead and submit it. Um, and that's why I got keeps today because... I don't really do my makeup that often. And then I also have a bunch of like work stuff I still need to get done. So I have some meetings this morning. I have a bunch of other like to do's for work. So really busy day again, like I said. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So my friend texted me a couple days ago and he um, was asking me, cause he's still in college. And he was like, what was your biggest regret like from college? And I've been thinking about this a lot now and what I told him was honestly my biggest regret like from college was not knowing how to spend enough time alone. Realizing like honestly ever since I graduated from college like this is the first time that I've won. This is the first time I've ever like felt this good in my life like when I was in college I was constantly dealing with like anxiety and like I was just really really stressed out and I could never really you know I like I went to therapy and like all this stuff but I could never really figure out like what it was that like had me so worked up since I've graduated from college I've been feeling a lot better but then I've also realized that like this year ever since like this year started I've been so much more productive like if you guys have been watching my videos you guys probably know I've been sharing this a lot but like I feel like this year has been the year that I've really started accomplishing my goals. I've always been someone who's like super hardworking. I've always been like someone who's like really driven. Like I have all these goals and all these things I wanna accomplish. But when I was in college, I'm realizing like I had so many things that I was doing. Like I had YouTube, I had started a business. I had all these things and I wasn't, I just couldn't keep up. And I think that I'm now realizing that the reason why I struggled so much is because I was, I was trying to do too much, you know? Like, like I couldn't say no to like, even if my friends were going out and I had like a test on a Monday, I like couldn't say no. I had such bad FOMO to the point where I was driving myself like literally crazy. And I know it's like, it's not, it doesn't really seem like it should be that big of a deal to like hang out with people and like, you know, work-life balance is like really, really important. But I think that I, in college was so scared of missing out on things that it 
it was almost out that FOMO was almost outweighing my ability to be independent and like think for myself if that makes sense like I love my friends to death don't get me wrong I love them and I love hanging out with them but it was to a point where I was so caught up in spending time with them and like doing what everyone else was doing that I wasn't able to really focus like on myself like internally you know what I mean and the craziest thing is now that I'm here now that I'm like forced to spend time alone I'm learning that I love it like I love being by myself I love getting to know myself I love having the time to prioritize myself and only myself which sounds really selfish but honestly it's like it's important my mom has been telling me this like for years and I just would never listen to her because you know you don't listen to your parents advice until you have to I'm realizing now like I have just having this conversation with her it's like there's people who are like in their 40s who are like full-grown adults who still don't even know how to like spend time alone and so this is a really really important lesson to learn as early as you can like or at least for me like i'm realizing for me this is a really important lesson to learn like at this age especially like going into your 20s because if you cannot spend time alone you're never gonna learn how to navigate the world as a 20 something year old like it's just it's just the truth and so i'm really 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 grateful for right now like i'm really really grateful for this quarantine and to like have been forced to have to learn this lesson now um but i definitely will say like looking back at college if i had learned this sooner you guys i probably would not have dealt with the amount of anxiety that i dealt with and i probably would have accomplished a lot more I've been getting so much done today. I feel really, really proud of myself. I still need to um, film that brand content, but I just finished up pretty much all of my work, like to do's. Kind of crazy because I'm realizing, you know, not only did I not have to overwork myself to get things done, but also like I enjoy the things that I do. And this is the first time I really felt like this because I think before when I was in college, I was seeing work in school as like this negative thing. And then I was seeing like time with my friends as like a positive, like, you know, it's like a reward for getting the work done. I'm realizing now, like, you know, part of the fun part of life is making work play. And I really don't think I would have been able to get to this point, like mentally with, with, with my work, um, unless I had spent more time alone. I feel like it's really hard to know like what it is that you enjoy doing or what it is that bring, like what kind of work brings you joy when you're constantly being influenced by others because you're not taking the time to figure out yourself. You guys, oh my God, I had to unbutton my pants because I'm like full because I just ate lunch, but um, this is coming out so good. I'm like really proud of myself right now. I did that really well. Like. It usually takes me a lot of like, um, and sorry if my hair looks crazy, I, whatever. Um, but usually it takes me a bunch of different takes like to get good um, clips that I want like to include in my videos. And honestly, I did them all in like one take and I'm really, really proud of myself because I usually, it usually takes me like a lot longer to like do that. So anyways, I don't know. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to like position this well. <laughs> Hopefully that looks good. Um, but not only have I been like getting a lot more done, like I've, you know, like I was saying before, like I've been really productive, but I also just feel a lot better. Kind of weird because I feel like in college, I was trying to be someone that I wasn't. I was trying to be the super social person who wanted to be out all the time, who wanted to be around people all the time because I saw other people doing it. And I felt like, and I felt like that was the normal thing to do. But I'm realizing now that it's like, it's totally okay and it's totally cool to be the kind of person who just wants to stay in some Friday nights or to be someone who wants to just hang out and do something by yourself. Because I I see people, I see, I've see i seen people who can go and do things by themselves. I've traveled to an entire country by myself. So I know I can be by myself and I know that I enjoy it. Um, but I think I was trying really hard to be someone that I wasn't. I am like somewhat extroverted. I like going out, I like seeing people, but, but I definitely did not like it. Um, in the amount that I was doing it's good that I am learning that about myself because now I can Balance it whenever quarantine is over. I don't know if this like 
applies to all of you. Maybe this is just a me thing that I had like work through myself, but hopefully this is relatable to at least one of you. And hopefully this is helpful to at least someone. Um, but seriously, you guys, like if, if anything I'm saying sounds relatable to you at all, I definitely recommend just trying to use this time to prioritize learning how to be alone. Like if you're struggling right now to be by yourself, to spend time by yourself, then definitely listen to that and like look at that and take it and run with it because you will be so grateful to yourself if you learn how to start being alone and the younger that you can do it the better off you will be i think a lot of us we spend a lot of our time in school from high school maybe even down to middle school um, all the way up to college learning to accept ourselves through the eyes of other people and so you know whenever you're ready whenever you're ready to start like whenever you're ready to kind of break down that um habit the sooner the better like seriously this life will just go up like i know i'm being so dramatic and so corny but seriously y'all it makes a difference guys oh i'm filming on my phone right now because my memory card's in my computer but oh my gosh i am so annoyed right now it's 9 p.m almost and my video is still not up my computer fucking sucks i don't know what's going on it's just like being super fucking slow and so i can't get iMovie to like load at all oh i'm so fucking annoyed i really want to get this apartment tour up because like i've been posting like pretty much every single wednesday like for the past few weeks and i wanted to get this up today um uh, but i just don't know if it's gonna happen and like i even had like an instagram post planned out like i never post an actual Instagram post for a video. Like I had today planned out, but I just got so caught up with all the other stuff I had to do. And then I had a family Zoom call at like six that I had forgotten about. Um, so that went on to like 7.30 and I've literally been on my computer for like an hour and a half now, almost, um, trying to get this shit to load. So that's great. Um, hopefully I can get the, if I can't get the video up by like 9.30, I probably just won't post it today. Or maybe I will. I don't know. I just don't know like what like how it's gonna affect me posting so late at night. Um, so I gotta figure this shit out, but hopefully I can get this video up. By now it like by the time you guys are watching this, it won't really matter. But yeah, I just thought I'd vlog the life because this is what life is like. Oh my god, you guys, it finally loaded. Oh my gosh. I am like Ugh, I'm so done right now, but I need to um Finish posting the video. I have it like all loaded up in here. I'm doing like my SEO stuff right now. So I'm doing my description. I need to still plug in my affiliate links, but honestly, I just want to post it and then go back and edit it, um, which I might just go ahead and do. So I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because I just want to get it up. Um, but I know I need to like take my, I really like this portion of getting a video up. I really do have to take my time. So I don't want to just rush it, but I do want to get this up as quickly as I can. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my tags. I'm also starving. Um, you guys can tell I've already gone through a glass of wine, um, because I was just stressed and I wanted to get this done. Okay guys, I just posted the video. I was stressing the fuck out, but I feel a lot better. Sorry, Deku's drinking his water right now, so if you guys hear that. Um, but yeah, I finally posted the video. Super, super excited. Um, it's finally up. I, I honestly didn't put everything that I needed to put in the video. So I need to go back and add like affiliate links and like, um, an end screen and stuff like that. But I just wanted to get it up. So it's up. It's like 9 PM right now. I'm actually about to post. I'm going to make my post on Instagram right now too. Um, so I can promote it and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm gonna go ahead and end it here um i'm gonna show you guys the little instagram post that i'm making it's right here um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog hopefully it wasn't hopefully it was interesting in some way and yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day night whatever whatever you guys are doing um make sure to subscribe to my channel too if you guys haven't already new videos coming out every sunday every other most wednesdays if you guys can tell i'm pretty consistent i'm i'm grinding here so make sure you guys subscribe and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye